Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Anton, and welcome to today's video from Marvel Snap. Today, what are we going to be doing today? Well, I recently unlocked a few more cards in Pool 3, uh, some of which are actually really good. Uh, for example, I, I think my most recent card I unlocked is Wave, who is a very powerful Pool 3 card. Uh, we're not going to be doing a Wave deck today, if you were wondering about that. I feel like I need a couple more Pool 3 cards before I really want to... Uh, play some wave deck specifically. I'm waiting to see if I can find death. Uh, but also I've recently unlocked Mystique and I've also recently unlocked Quinjet. Now, of course I've, I've unlocked other things like Crossbones, but eh, whatever. Um, so I was thinking about building a Quinjet deck and I was thinking about building a Mystique deck. And I was talking about this on my stream earlier and one of my viewers said, why not both? Because they technically both work because Quinjet's an ongoing ability. Mystique cares about ongoing. You know what else cares about ongoing? Devil Dinosaur. I have done a Devil Dinosaur video before, but I believe it was a pool one only deck. Uh, pool one, yeah, only pool one cards in the deck. Uh, we're going to be using a couple of pool three cards. Basically, I think we're just going to use Quinjet and Mystique. Uh, everything else will be pool one and pool two cards. Um, I think this deck is pretty good, too. I threw it together, in all honesty, in like a couple of minutes on stream. So if it's still kind of a work in progress, but I think what I've got so far is really good. There are a couple of cards I'm still iffy on. I'll talk about those when we start talking about the deck more. And other cards that are not in the deck that I'm considering adding as well. So let's go and look at the deck. Okay, so welcome to the deck. Now, the base of the deck is your basic Devil Dinosaur Moon Girl deck. Uh, we still have the classic turn 4 Moon Girl, turn 5 Devil Dino, turn 6 Devil Dino. Uh, some of the games, we're just going to play that in all honesty because, well, it's a really, really, really strong, uh, strong play. It's a little, um, I will say this, it is a little predictable and disruptible if your opponent knows how to play. Like, if they see a... Uh, Moon Girl followed into Devil Dino, your opponent's going to assume you have a, another Devil Dino and they're going to play around that either by just, well, retreating, which is good for you because you get cubes, or you're setting up like a Shang-Chi Enchantress kind of play. Uh, so we add in the Mystique Quinjet um, package. Um, I'm not sure if this is better than just a pure destruction package would say like Killmonger, Nova, Bucky, Carnage, etc., etc., uh, but I do like it. I will be honest with you, I think maybe the destruction version is better because you get to play Killmonger, and Killmonger is kind of nuts against certain decks. Um, but I think this has its own strengths as well, and that is a uh, consistency in terms of just making really big stuff, while sometimes the destruction version doesn't go as big. Um, so yeah, we got our standard Agent 13 here, just, you know, solid one drop. Uh, replaces herself so our dino stays big and sometimes gets a win con herself. Uh, number two, next card up, Quinjet. If you don't know what the card is, one mana, two power. Pretty standard one drop in terms of stats. Ongoing. Cards that didn't start in your deck cost one less. So we can copy that with Mystique because Mystique is a three mana, zero power. On reveal, if the last card you played has an ongoing ability, this card gains it. We'll talk more about Mystique a little later. Uh... But the cards that will be discounted with Quinjet can be Cable cards, Sentinel, Extra Sentinels, uh, all the cards copied with Moon Girl, uh, White Queen cards as well, uh, Agent 13 of course as well, uh, not to mention any cards that are we get through uh, locations and stuff. So I really like Quinjet, I think it's great. Um, I think Sarah is the card I'm thinking of, 5 mana card that discounts every card that you have by 1. Unlike, I think Sarah says, like, you can't discount to below one. Quinjet, you can discount to zero. I'm fairly sure. I'm, I'm like, 99% sure you can. I can swear I've played, like, a zero mana Sentinel. Uh, but, yeah, Quinjet, very powerful. If you've played card games before, uh, various other card games, or you've even, even if you've just played Marvel Snap for a while now, you should know why Quinjet is solid. Mana acceleration is great. Basically, cheating... Uh, be, not paying full price for cards, uh, playing certain cards a uh, turn or two earlier than normal. Insanely powerful ability. 
Nice card up. We got Angela. I mean, you know Angela now. She's just, she comes down. She's just a lot of power for two mana. Represents a lot of power for two mana. Helps contest really well. Uh, fairly early, so we play Angela, of course. Uh, we got our Cable here. Cable and Sentinel. Uh, fills up the two drop slot. Helps us flood for Angela. Cable as well gives us, uh, could theoretically give us a win con. Gives us some information on what our opponent's deck might be if we play them on turn two. Just a solid card overall. Uh, next up, we got Mystique. Uh, so yeah, she copies the, la the ongoing ability of the last card you played if it has an ongoing ability. So we have a few things we can copy here. Like I said earlier, we can copy Quinjet. Um, but our two main targets we want to copy are Devil Dinosaur. So we basically make a slightly smaller Devil Dinosaur with Mystique. Or Iron Man. Um, because, you know, Iron Man's got a great ability. So we play Iron Man in one location, and then we can Mystique to copy Iron Man for another location. I think it's very powerful. Um, next up, we got Cosmo. Cosmo is here for our tech slot. You can remove Cosmo for something else, in your, in all honesty, for like a uh, Electra, uh, maybe an Enchantress, a Shang-Chi or something. I just like Cosmo because in Devil Dino decks, because he works really good defensively, trying to stop uh, Shang-Chi, stop Enchantresses to protect our Devil Dinos, because he is our main win con. So I really like Cosmo, but you can definitely take him out if you want. Um, a pool three card, I've been considering playing over him, if I can find it. If I have it, I actually don't think I have it, uh, now that I think about it. But um, Quake, Quake to like, shift up the locations to play around Storm. You could also consider playing Storm yourself. Um, I wouldn't personally play Storm. Uh, if you, I feel like if you do want some kind of location uh, disruption, whatever you want to call it, I would personally put in Scarlet Witch first, but you could consider playing Storm over Cosmo. But yeah, just a tech drop, tech slot. So yeah, choose whatever tech card you want over Cosmo, but I highly recommend Cosmo. And then we got our uh, some more card draw package here. Moon Girl to double up uh, Devil Dinosaur. Also deviling up Iron Man's pretty solid. White Queen is just another solid, powerful four drop. Good stats for her cost. Um, also gives you, usually gives you a very strong late game haymaker. So we're gonna play her. Um, plus uh, replaces herself too for your Devil Dino, just all over a great card. Iron Man is a card I'm playing. I'm not 100% certain about the guy. Uh, in all honesty, I've been going back and forth between Iron Man and Collector. Um, I think I like Iron Man a little bit more than Collector at the moment because I feel like I run into a lot of Shang-Chi's and Collector does not like Shang-Chi after a certain point. And barely any Enchantresses, barely any ways to deal with Iron Man. Sure, he is a lot more expensive, but I think it's fine. And plus, uh, he has an ongoing ability, so he gives us, uh, it makes our mystique a little bit more consistent in case we never found the Devil Dino. And then, of course, our last couple of cards, we got Devil Dino, star of the deck, just your big boy, comes down, he's really big. And our last card is America Chavez. She's doing her thing, helping you uh, get a little bit more consistency in your deck by not being drawn until turn six. And she is a solid turn six play as well. But in all honesty, I feel like we're not going to play her too much because we'd rather play cheap things with Quinjet or a Mystique copying Iron Man or Devil Dino, but she'll still get played like once every couple of games or so. So yeah, uh, I think the deck is pretty solid. Uh, just get Quinjet down um, relatively early. Um, turn four and on, you just play your standard Devil Dino games, you know, Moon Girl, White Queens, Devil Dino to win a lane and then like win a second lane either with like an Iron Man or a Mystique copying Devil Dino or some other win con. So yeah, I think it's really good. Very, very fun deck. It's been performing pretty well for me. Um, so I wanted to make a video for it. Um, but yeah, you can definitely replace some cards in this deck. Um, maybe you can remove Cable or Sentinel for Collector if you want to play Collector, Iron Man, and Devil Dino. I feel like that's a little overkill. But I haven't tried Collector myself, so in the future, I will eventually, I will try out Collector because he is a pretty powerful card. Especially with Moon Girl. Anyway, though, that's the deck. Uh, we'll go and uh, try it for a couple of games on a ladder, so let's go and play some games. The Donut Swizzler. <laughs> what a name. Anyway, uh, this hand's actually pretty solid. Um, I could actually do something really cute here and 
play Quinjet on two and to Mystique, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to play Quinjet mid, I think, and go from there. I think it's just good to get Quinjet out because we're probably going to Sentinel on the right as well. We're playing into unknown locations because, oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, okay, yeah, so we're probably going to Mystique Devil Dino. I was playing into unknown locations because of, um, what's it called? You know what? I'm considering playing it on lo locations because at the current time of recording this video, Death's Domain is a hot location or whatever. But Stark Tower is really nice. Like, I'm thinking Sentinel left or Sentinel mid or right, and I think I'll just put it mid. Oh, hello. What's going on here? That's a lot of stuff you just played. Mysterio. Oh, okay. Okay. So Mysterio is five power. And that's why I wanted to play. Yep. Kind of why I want. Okay, so I'm going to. Cosmo here? Wait. I think Cosmo here. And then we can Dino here, Mystique there. That's such a good line. Or that was such a good hit. We saved our, um... Oh, hey, nice. Um, so I'm going to White Queen. Devil Dino the right. And then I can play, like, Mystique. So I should snap here, actually. This Death's Domain is a little scary, though. I think I've won. Like, I feel like this Mysterio, the real Mysterio, is on the left or right? Or maybe left. I don't know. Magneto. Okay. Hold on. All opposing three and four cost cards to this location. I don't think that means they're going to play Magneto. I could Iron Man here? Yeah, I actually like Iron Man Mystique here. I think this is the line. And then I'll play like Mystique, Angela, Sentinel. I am Iron Man. All systems oh, thank go. you so much, Cosmo. I wonder if they forgot about Cosmo. So yeah, we have to play Mystique first to get the Iron Man play. And then we'll just do like that. GG. I don't think they can win with just one spot here. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, is there anything they can do with Magneto? I don't think anything with Magneto can do anything. That's a really big Magneto, though. Why is it so big? Wakandan Embassy. Oh, he has a base of 12. Wow, Magneto's huge. He's a Hulk? I never knew Magneto was that big. All right, so what you got? Yep, there's Mystique. I am Iron Man. And we got our Angela plus Sentinel here. So is this enough? And where is that Mysterio? Yep, that does nothing. Was it a right Mysterio? It was a right Mysterio. Oh, the illusions stay around. I never actually knew that. Sweet, I got four cubes though. Easy. Look at that. Already, game one, Miss Mystique doing, a jo doing her job, giving us a great ongoing ability in the form of Iron Man. I honestly feel like if I had gone for Devil Dino mid Mystique hopping Devil Dino, I probably would have lost. Because, well, one, my hand's not that big. And that's why I like Iron Man in this deck. Anyway, let's go to our next game now. Uh, okay, not a terrible start here. Could be better. Okay, that helps. Um, I could... You know what, I'm just gonna play Agent 13 now. Let's play her, um, let's play her mid to, you know, try to play into Death's Domain a bit. I'm playing her now because I want to see what I get. I've never seen this card. What is this? Shuffle two rocks into your opponent's deck. So he's bigger Korg. And I played into Bar with no name. <laughs> Welp. That's a problem. Uh -uh. 
I think I still can. I'm not going to concede because they're playing. It seems like they're playing Zoo, so I think I can win this. Because of I got the uh, Moon Girl Cable or Moon Girl Dino Play. Well, crap. So I'm still going to Moon Girl, but that... Hmm. So we're going to Moon Girl left. Dino left. Yeah, so turn four is Moon Girl. Turn five is Dino. Turn six might be something else besides Mystique. Yeah, so we'll Moon Girl. I'm not snapping because I'm really scared here, but I think I have this. Like, they can't play into Bar with no name. All right, there's our dinos. And then we'll just Devil Dino here. And honestly, probably just Devil Dino left. I could do some Cosmo shenanigans here, in all honesty. That's a Nightcrawler. They can move Nightcrawler to the right. I think this is it. I don't think I play Cosmo. Like, this is what? 21 power here? They move Nightcrawler to the right. Um, move Nightcrawler to the right. And they'll play a unit, but it can't be that big. Mystique copies Devil Dino. She'll have 12 power. No, 12 power. That's 15 here, thanks to Angela. I think we're good. I'm not snapping because I don't want to lose too many cubes because I think my math... Might be wrong, but I think I got this. You know what? You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I feel confident enough. Let's snap. This is a late snap. They'll probably just retreat here, I feel. I could see them Shang-Chiing here. Like trying to Shang-Chi on the right to um, play around my second Devil Dino. I've seen Zoo players playing Devil or Shang-Chi, by the way. I don't know, I'm kind of curious here. Like, that bar with no name, and the miniaturized lab especially really screwed them as a zoo player. All right, what you got? Oh, there's Mystique. This is mid. White Tiger. Um, okay, we're good. <laughs> Whew. White Tiger? Oh, is this a wave deck? Well, I won anyway. I feel like this is a wave deck. Yeah, well, the, I thought it was a zoo deck because of Wolf Spain and all these one drops, but White Tiger makes me think it's like Wave and they're playing Hulk and Odin and America Chavez. I guess I should consider that when I see Wolf Spain because Wolf Spain is really good with Odin in Wave decks. Anyway, that's another win for me. And thanks to Mystique, let's go to the next game. Nice, I got Quinjet early. Um, well, I don't want to play into there, so let's get our Quinjet here. Let's get our Agent 13 out first. And then I'll Quinjet, in case I draw Mystique and I want to double Quinjet. Hood. Ooh, Spider-Man, cool. Turn five, all cards must be played here. Um... I can Quinjet Spider-Man... White Queen. Let's go for that. Like, I kind of want to do a turn five, um, turn five Spider-Man here. Like, let's see what I draw first. Swap hands. Oh, crap. Um, I hate that. I'm just going to drop Spider-Man here. I'm. This might be a retreat in all honesty. Cable and a demon. Friendly okay. neighborhood Spider-Man here. So the good news is Quinjet works really well with Mindscape. The bad news is let's play um I'm gonna play White Queen mid, Iron Man mid, and I'm gonna dump a lot of stuff everywhere. I'm so yes. glad they just threw an Enchantress out now. So they have Magneto, which I will take. Wait, no, I'm going to give it back to them. Oh, great. 
Well, actually, all opposing three and four costs to this location. You're a one drop, right? Um, you're a three, and those two are twos. This is awful. Because I don't want to give them Iron Man. I think I'm going to give them... I think I'm going to Iron Man here. And hopefully I can do a lot with the Quinjet play. Vision. Ugh. I am Iron Man. All right. What we got here? What you got for me, opponent? Show me your Mindscape cards. Captain Marvel... You know, the funny thing is, I can only play two of their cards. We're thinking of Mystique. They're just playing Mystique? Um... Captain Marvel might be the play. I don't think it is. It could just be Magneto here. I know they have Magneto too, though, is the problem. So it's what, three and fours? That'll pull in my Spider-Man, and that's it. So I don't think they're going to Magneto. I could also go, like, Mystique here. Jessica Jones here? My brain hurts, so I'm just going to do this. Yeah, there's the Magneto pulling in. They pull in the White Queen! Oh, I forgot about that! Oh, I'm so dumb. My bad. Iron Man. Well, we lost, sadly. Oh, well. That's just me and my brain getting a little flooded. Um, I feel like, honestly, I feel like I could have won um, if I had just played a little tighter. I will also be honest with you, I got a, I did get a little mind flooded with all of these cards I've never played with. Like, I've never played Spider-Man, I've never played Magneto. I know what Captain Marvel does, I've just never played her. And with all that brain flood going on, I kind of forgot what I gave them too. But yeah, they just played Magneto, it seems. I don't know, like, could I have done anything? Like, let's see here. So they moved... I also forgot that White Queen was going to move uh, if they played Magneto. I don't know. It was going to be a tough turn because, like, Vision throws a wrench into things with him being able to move. Anyway, though, let's go and uh, get another game. Let's get a win this time. Okay. Sure. Uh, if I can get a another Death Domain. Okay. I was going to say, if I can get a one or two drop to play here, I like this hand. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, well, at least I got this. Um... Let's Quinjet to the right. That's awful. That moon Losing that Moon Girl is so bad. But thankfully, I do have my Iron Man as a, what's basically a second uh, Devil Dino. So we'll just... Cosmo here. Screw with some of their on reveals like a Scorpion or something. Blizzard, whatever. We can flood here, I guess. I might... Iron Man the right. I'm gonna do this to set up an Iron Man. Carnage? Nova. Oh, this is bad. Wait, I have no cards. Oh, no. Oh. That changes so much. So I'm going to, like, Vision. I know he's going to die, by the way. Or he's not going to give me a new card. Uh, I'm going to Vision into Death's Domain to win that. And I'm going to... Send a Sentinel here. I might Vision to the right, though. Enchantress. Okay, that's whatever. I already got my discounts anyway. Then we have America Chavez. So we move Vision there. Iron Man is six. Dino is plus nine. 
on. Oh, hey, GG. Victory. Yep. I mean, they knew they were going to lose um, Death's Domain thanks to the vision I stole. So it seems like they didn't want to just play a 50-50 kind of game here and try to guess which lane I was going to play for. I honestly don't know what I would have done if they actually made me play it out. Um, I was probably going to just play like America Chavez somewhere. Like... If they forced me to play it out, I probably would have just America Chavez on the right. Because mid, um, well, I can't flood mid enough to deactivate Lizard, and they have Angela mid. So I probably would have America Chavez right. Anyway, uh, got another win. So that's great. So uh, yeah, great deck. Let's go ahead and talk about the deck a little bit more. Okay, welcome back to the deck, everyone. So uh, I believe we did four games. Uh, three wins and a loss, I believe, was our record. Sadly, we got a loss, but, uh, you know, it's card games. You can't win everything. Uh, eventually, luck will just come by and just screw you or really help out your opponent. Uh, but I believe we got to show off exactly what we're trying to do with this deck uh, and the strengths of this deck compared to other Devil Dinosaur variants. Um, especially right now, though, on ladder with Death's Domain being a featured hot location, I would play the Destruction version with things like Nova over this list. But once uh, once it's no longer a hot location, once Death's Domain's not a hot location, I would probably honestly play this over the Destruction version. Uh, they do both have their own strengths and weaknesses, but I think this deck does kind of need to be able to play into a third location because of board space. Uh, because, you know, you're getting your discounts with... Quinjet, so you want to, you know, you probably want to play Quinjet somewhere you're not going to fight, and then just, like, spam Sentinels in that location as well, just to scare your opponent that you might play there, uh, and give you options. But yeah, very, very fun deck. Um, still not sure if I want Collector or not. I'm going to definitely have to try out Collector eventually, uh, but the deck feels very, very solid right now. I think it's very powerful. Um, probably a good tier 2 deck at the very least uh maybe it gets worse later on in pool three because i'm just barely at the beginning of pool three in all honesty uh maybe when people start to have like a bunch of pool three cards in their deck you know like magnetos doc ox dr dooms uh, captain marvels etc etc it might fall off but uh you know i'll have more pool three cards so i can do more things uh but yeah i'd love to hear your opinion on this deck do you think quinjet mystique is solid like quinjet mystique devil dino is a solid deck um, are there any changes, any other cards you would consider adding to this deck? Like, um, do you think Collector is worth it? Do you think we should play something over America Chavez? Uh, do you think there's a different, uh, tech card besides Cosmo that can work? Like, um, maybe Vision, maybe, uh, maybe we could add Nightcrawler, Shang-Chi, Killmonger, etc, etc. I'd love to hear your opinion down below in the comments. And if you guys just enjoyed the video in general, I'd love it if you could leave a like or a comment down below it always helps me and always helps out my channel and if you guys want to keep up with the marvel snap content you can always go and subscribe to the channel as well and if you want to watch me play some marvel snap you can always go and check me out over on twitch at twitch.tv slash where i stream pretty much every single day anyway though with that all said and done thank you all once more for watching this video and until i see you guys in the next one uh bye